Hi, this is Manan Shalvi. LumaFusion 5.2 has just been released and there's a lot to cover. First, if you are subscribed to the Creator Pass, now you have the ability to add up to 12 tracks of video on top of 12 tracks of audio. Now, one of the most important things for me is that LumaFusion 5.2 added adjustment layers. Let me show you how it looks. You go over here to this little plus. You add an adjustment clip. By the way, it's defaulted to 10 seconds. And the default is over here. Now, if you are new to this concept, adjustment layers in video editing are non-destructive layers that let you apply effects, color corrections or motion to multiple clips beneath uh, without modifying the original footage. So let me show you something pretty obvious. I'm going to edit my adjustment layer, go to the original preset and let's reduce the brightness. So it's pretty obvious that we're doing something. And as you can see, the brightness has been reduced in both clips. Now, interestingly enough, I can still go to one of the clips or any of the clips basically um, and change something else. Like let's make this one black and white with zero saturation. So as you can see, we have the effects applied to the clip combined with the effects applied to the adjustment layer. And of course you can add more than one adjustment layer and the, each adjustment layer will actually apply whatever settings are applied to it to any layers that are below it. So let's quickly remove all what we did so we can continue. As I mentioned earlier, you can also add uh, effects. Let's say, for example, let's add some pixelation. And as you can see, the pixelation has been applied to both clips that, that are under the adjustment layer. So one important thing to show is that now that I have this effect applied in the adjustment layer, I can go to any of the clips below it. And as you can see, the effect in the adjustment layer is not being shown. In order for that effect to show, we have this new switch over here that does exactly that. Let's remove that quickly as well. Lastly, let me show you um, I'm in the adjustment layer, so I'm going to start a motion. Um, let's do a slide motion. So from outside all the way in. And as you can see, the motion is applied and continues throughout the two clips. Now, you can apply also transitions to the beginning and the end of adjustment layers. Let me show you. Consider, for example, this video. There are here five layers. There are four layers of video and one title that serves as the background. And using an adjustment layer, I will be able to apply one transition to all the layers below the adjustment layer. Let me show you how. Let's add an adjustment layer. Here it is. During this video, I will be using some of the LumaFusion native transitions from a creator called uh, MNN TVE. So let me show you an example. Let me show you, for example, the page curl. Or the aqua ripples. LumaFusion native transitions appear in the list of the transitions available in LumaFusion. They behave like any other transition. You just simply drag one of the transitions between two clips or to the head or the tail of a clip and you are done. I will be um, creating a video covering all these transitions. If you're interested to learn more, I'm going to leave a link to their store, mnntve.com, in the description. Okay, back to our video. Um, for this video, I'm going to use one of the page curls that I saw at the beginning. 
and let's do it for two seconds so it is very noticeable what it's doing so i'm applying it at the top at the beginning of the adjustment layer and look what it does the transition is applied to all the layers at the same time notice though that transitions can be applied at the beginning of a, an adjustment layer at the head or at the end at the tail of the adjustment layer but not you cannot cut and do it in the middle um, another thing that i forgot to mention about adjustment layers you can copy paste from one adjustment layer to another or even from one clip to the adjustment layer all of that works as well i'm going to take one of the stock transitions that come in Loma Fusion and basically do the same thing. And it works. Now, one thing that you could do also is enhance transitions. Let's take, for example, this mod circle transition. I'm going to add on top of that an adjustment layer that runs only throughout the transition. And what this adjustment layer does is it has a long zoom that at the beginning is set to zero, at the end is set to zero, and in the middle it's set to 13 and something. So basically it grows higher and then gets back reduced to zero. So just to remind you again, this is how it looks without the adjustment layer. And now that we add the adjustment layer, it looks like this. So we basically have a lot of new options now. Now, um, there's a lot of changes in the titles. So first of all, there's a lot of new original shapes. Over here, we're using this one, but there's quite a few. The arrows, I believe, are going to be extremely useful. And then there's a bunch of new cute images. Now, the nice thing with this is that not only you have new shapes, but LumaFusion added the ability by pressing on this button to add new shapes basically new svgs those are scalable vector graphics what basically svg will give you is that those images can be resized without losing any of the resolution so here i added some of them really cute now one important thing that was added also to the titles editor is this keep aspect ratio so basically when i resize my uh, shape it doesn't lose the aspect ratio before then it would actually do that luma fusion 5.2 also added some new transitions quick zoom transitions let me show you some of them this is the quick zoom out blur and this is going to be the quick zoom out and there are four transitions in this set. Now, something a little bit more technical. When you go to frame and fit, position, size, and rotation could be linked or unlinked. When they're unlinked, they show separately, as they're showing right here. But if they are linked, basically meaning that when you create keyframes for one of, this, of those three settings, keyframes are created for the other two. When they are linked, they show more like they used to show before LumaFusion 5.0, in which all of them were in one section. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like, and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.